Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to another episode of Beating Up Germans Who've Sailed All the Way to Japan Just to Die Horribly. Uh, this time, it might actually be interesting. We've got um, three different light cruisers. Uh, a Bussard, although they actually might be the same. They're different prices. Might be a refit of each other. Uh, and the Thetis, which is a Carl... Carl uh, I keep wanting to call them Carl Schrute class. Um, <laughs> destroyer. They're pretty fast, but they probably don't have any fuel. Um, I think these ones are the 5.9 inch everywhere ships of armor. So they could be interesting because we just have a couple of Shinobis to take them on. So... You know, relatively fair. <laughs> um, I guess. And that is if they even fight me at all. Uh, I haven't really seen the Shinobis much in action lately. Uh, they've just kind of been around. But, um, you know, this is very much what they are designed to, to deal with. Um, I'm just going to turn the torpedoes off. We should be able to take out these enemy light cruisers. We do have... We only have six-inch guns on these, but... You know, hopefully they're okay. And hopefully it's not just a ghost encounter and they decide to run away because they do have faster ships than I do. But you think in a 2v3 they would... Uh, the AI would consider fighting, but sometimes it's just like, nah, can't be bothered. No, oh, it's going to be a ghost encounter, isn't it? If you, if, you, if you get all the way through half an hour at times 30 heading straight at them, then, yeah, there's just no point. I wish it would just, uh, rather than doing that, it should just say, you know, you go fight, and then it says enemy withdrew or something. It would save you having to load into a battle and then chase them around for a bit, end the battle, and then load back up the campaign. Whoa, Britain and the United States. Everybody, everybody's just mines. Let's just throw ourselves at the mines. However, uh, there is also a battle down here, which could also be interesting uh, because you don't see this too often. Um, Britain, these are the two Antrim class that ran away from, uh, was it the Issei before? And they're teaming up with the Scharnhorst. <laughs> Uh, an Anglo-German fleet. Uh, and yeah, we've got a Kwongo and a Miyoko class to take them on. And again, hopefully it's not a case of them just running away. But very unusual to see British and German ships fighting together. To the west. Let's go. No, they're not running away. We have... We have them in sight. Yeah, look at that. British. German. British. <laughs> so unusual. I wonder if we can get, get that as a thumbnail. It's not immediately obvious, but... Uh, right, let's see if we can't get to engagement range. Oh, the uh, Hikara doesn't have much ammo. That could be an issue. She should have been back to port to get her 
ammo refill. The ammo refill is quite slow, unfortunately. I think it's mostly her HE shells she's low on. Oh, ammo debt. Is this, out, this is on the German ship. Yeah, German ship seems to be taking most of the hits at the moment. Uh, Hagari, you're getting it. You're both getting a bit close, actually. All that is probably torps on the way. Brutal. 14 inch guns are just going to absolutely rip those things apart. Yeah, here come the torpedoes. I can do a little bit of a pirouette. sure why we're insisting on obliterating the German ship but apparently we are Ooh, more torps I've changed direction again The mighty three inch guns on the Ashigara opening up. Oh, another one. Piss off. Right, Sean Horse sinks. Lovely. run paying for it though that's a huge chunk of <laughs> chunk of damage taken out of that ship up oh, down goes the King Alfred The Andromeda remains. Torpedoes. Don't think they're going to hit, but you never know. Ooh. 
dud, of course. But it matters not. The Anglo-German cruiser squadron sent to the bottom. Perfect. Well, that actually means we've scored some kills against the Royal Navy. Hmm. I wonder what I wonder what the AI is going to do because we've been fighting well Germany on and off, but Britain's been at war with us for a long. Yeah, there we go. Immediately wants to talk deal. Do you know what we'll talk? I kind of need to get my economy in order and stop having to repair ships constantly. Apologies if you can hear a washing machine in the background. I don't always get a lot of choice about when I'm doing recording and then, you know, I'll sit down to record and then the washing machine's going. Right, three months and I can do those refits. Okay. And repairs should be finished in a month. Good. Good, good. And we should also should be... Yeah, we're close to maxing out our transport cap. That'll also give us a chunk of money back <laughs> that... That does amuse me, though. It's like, China is against you, and they have no, nothing. Um, yeah. <laughs> How's the Royal Navy doing? Well, wow, they actually have a, a big fleet. Germany, not so much. <laughs> uh, goodness me. And uh, Spain, n no sign. No sign of Spain. What have we got over here? Battle cruiser. Ooh, interesting. Heavy cruiser. Yeah, there's a few things about. Right, I'm going to end the turn. Um, so I'll be back either when I'm refitting or if there's some more battles. Right, welcome back. Uh, China's given up. <laughs> and Britain's given up. Uh, probably because they have bigger things to worry about. Oh my god. So many things going on. Um, oh wow, the both peace deals have been merged because I get Mongolia in here. Right, I've uh, got 137 million I can ask for. <laughs> I could totally take Gibraltar. Funny that, oh wow, there's so many random things here. Tasmania. Yeah, sure. Um, I need. I want something in the Pacific, though. So I'm going to have to look up where these bloody things are. <laughs> What's the most expensive thing I could get? So it's not any of these. It's not that. Falkland Islands. Hmm. Can I ask for both Gilberts? No. Gilbert Islands. Where are they? Yeah, it would be the Gilberts that we'd probably go for. Uh, go for the eastern ones and... Oh, let's go for the Cook Islands. And... SGSSI. South Georgia and South Sandwich Islands? No. Cayman Islands would be funny. I think we'd just go for these two. Sadly, I can't ask for Australia. <laughs> Random bits of Australia. Or all of New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, we don't have enough money to claim any of the cool stuff, but we can take a couple of islands. Oh, they only gave us one of them. Okay, um, we're still at war with Germany. Right, where is that random island that we picked up? It's going to be on the other side of the other side of the map, isn't it? Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's this one. That's the Cook Islands. And then the Gilbert. That's the Western Gilberts. Oh, they didn't give me the Gilberts. They only gave me the Cook Islands. Eh, well, fair enough. 
Japanese Pacific Empire continues to expand. Um, yeah, so just a war with Germany. And, oh, and Spain. But Spain hasn't done anything. So, really, all I need to do is to get that research back up. And put S back in the name. <laughs> and really, just, just wait for them to show up, I guess. I can even put my ships on. Uh, in fact, I'm, go I'm going to. I'm going to just stick them back onto in being. Because there's really no need to have everything on sea control, especially the capital ships. Because... Yeah, I'm just going to have all the heavier ships on in being. We're just going to keep the destroyers and light cruisers on patrol. Save ourselves several million. We'll just wait for that research finish, which will be next turn. Perfect. And then all I'm going to do, I'm going to start refitting. Well, not everything, but refitting a lot of stuff. What are we getting here? Oh, yeah, that's the Mark V 13-inch gun. Um, so I will see you for that, because the turn is probably going to take a while. Well, I was going to do the refits, but a uh, whole bunch of... Dist oh, I hate this type of fight. Uh, yeah, of course that's not going to work. Just auto-resolve it. Um... It's just not fun for me to do. Um, we got the modern armor, which is fantastic. I'm going to take the research priority off before I forget. And we also have a couple of German light cruisers defending a convoy. Ah, okay. So finally, the Shinobis will actually get to do something. Well, maybe. <laughs> Usually you don't get a ghost encounter when you are fighting against a convoy. There we go. And we've come up against the transports first. Good for me, not so good for them. Might well be that the uh, escorts have buggered off. Excuse me, I think that's someone at my door back in a second okay I am back how are we doing yes transport murdering mm -hmm. well there we go and then we're just going to end. Done. Not going to bother chasing down a couple of light cruisers. Very happy just sinking the transports. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Do, 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 do. Get a load back up. Again, I do wish they would... Uh, Consider doing a bit of a performance pass on the game. It does take a while to load between missions. Right, refit time. So the light chips are all kind of on on duty, as it were. Um, so I'm going to start off by refitting the larger ships. So let's have a look at our ship design. I'm going to get rid of the original Hamakaze because... 
we, if we're building any more destroyers, it's going to be Taihos. So it's just to keep the, this list relatively clean. We're also probably not going to be building any more Shinobi, so I'm going to get rid of the original design for that. So, um, uh, what's the oldest design we still have? It's the Fisace. So let's get those refitted first of all. So hit view. Load in. There we go. And refit. I haven't had refit for 10 years, but tech progression is relatively slow um, at this point. So they're still Mark 3 14 inch. We still don't have the Mark 4s, but we can give them Oil 3, which is quite a nice little upgrade. We can give them better propeller shafts. Uh, we can upgrade them from Croft 4 to Modern 1. Damn, 5% weight reduction. That's pretty nice. We could also give them Antitop 5. That's pretty nice. They can go from Tube Powder 1 to Tube Powder 3. Ooh. Yes, please. They can go from Enhanced Reloading to full-on Auto 2 Loaders. They can go from Gen 2 to Gen 3 Radar. And they're underway. That's pretty good. We up their range a touch. Yeah, we could. We could actually increase it twice. Um, that will leave me a little bit light for any future refit, but that is a nice, that is a nice upgrade. Um, that is a very nice upgrade. I don't think anything else needs messing with just now. Uh, only takes a month to do. Hey, that's pretty good. We'll say that. Cheap. Effective. Quick little upgrade. Just should make them, just in general, better. More maneuverable. Uh, and a little bit deadlier. <laughs> and yeah, their protection has been enhanced by upgrading that armor quality. So... PC 1940-2 refit and refit all four of them. Yeah, only takes a month. And then just to keep things tidy, I'm going to delete the original PC design. They are a lot more expensive with that upgrade. Uh, and they're a little bit heavier, but worth it, I think. Okay, uh, next would be to do I think the Quangos again? I'm going to be doing the old oldest ships first. Uh, so let's have a look at them. Go into the refit mode. Right. So probably a similar set of upgrades. So giving them oil, char five. Modern Armour, anti Torpedo 5, the Tube Pounder 3, the Autoloaders, the Gen 3 Radar, all good. And again, we, we end up with a little bit of weight spare. Um, they already have great range. Let's give them some extra protection. Let's give them many bulkheads. So they can take a little bit more punishment. I think that's worth it. Or is it? Hmm. I might just leave that spare displacement for a future refit. Because the these things, uh, the both the 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 Fises and the Quangos, they'll need refits for their guns as well. So I can, I can, and I don't, I think that'll add some weight. So when I go up to the Mark IVs, so I'm going to leave a little bit of weight spare. Stand buckets is fine. Uh, 
and we haven't really had a situation where our any of our capital ships really have been in a proper brawl and we'll refit wait shouldn't there be four is one of them being repaired Yeah, it's here. Uh, yeah, here he's still repairing. That's fine. Um, I'm just going to get rid of the original. Uh, next oldest would be the Miyokos, actually. They've been doing fantastic work, but they are an old ship. Maybe we can give them a bit of TLC. So they too could get oil, and the Shaft 5, and the Modern Armor, and the anti Torpedo 5, and the Cheap Panda 3, bigger torpedoes, full auto loaders, goddamn Gen 3 radar, improved depth charge launcher, nice. That is a that's a nice little upgrade there. Very nice. Again, I'm not going to fiddle with anything else. I'll just take the 98 percent because these things will probably have another refit once I get access to modern two, and that's when I'll really start fiddling around with them. But yeah, these they've got Mark V guns already on everything, so they're pretty close to being their kind of final final version uh, I do have the option of swapping them to diesels oh that is actually quite tempting what's what's the price difference 120 oh they're not that expensive either hmm That, that is actually extremely tempting. It is expensive, but that just sends their range <laughs> into the stratosphere. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fit them with a diesel. Sure, works for me. <laughs> oh, this might actually be cheating though, because. Really, I should do that. Well, wow, that's actually even better. <laughs> Somehow. Um, what? What about their cruise speed on diesels? 27 knots. What was it when I was doing the... Cheeky version. Also 27. That's 120. And that's 119 with the actual real diesels. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go diesels for these. That seems to be a pretty nice fit. Hmm. Apparently that still only takes a month. <laughs> Complete engine swap. But, uh, sure. Absolutely wouldn't have minded if it had taken longer. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the Miyoko 1940s. Again, apparently we only have three, but I think some are still being refitted. Uh, we should also do the Shinobis. Oh, no, no, we're not going to do the Shinobis this month because they're still on duty. 
So we'll do the Meiji and the Negatos. And the Yamatos will get all of those fixed up. So, yeah, let's do the Meiji. There's one thing I would like to do with a refit of these is potentially go to all triples if we have the weight. Because that was one of the compromises I kind of had to make. Do I get more weight for uh, going diesels with these? So that's 13,373. Yes, I do. I get weight back going, oops, going diesels. Going diesels then. Oh, look at that range. Oh. And oil three. Char five. Krupp to modern. We'll get that anti torpedo protection up. Uh, she already has auto two loaders. We can get 24 inch uh, torps, but then they don't fit. So don't worry about that. We'll get the upgraded depth charge. No, I don't have the weight to uh, go f change change the guns as well. But that's still a significant upgrade. Um, more range, slightly better turning, better protection. Uh, her, her armor quality has now gone up to 158, which is pretty good. Um, and... Oh, two pad three. Another upgrade we can go for. Uh, two versus three. Two is good, actually. But uh, for me, I prefer the three. And yeah, I think we're done on those as well. There we go. Let's get all of the mages refitted. And uh delete the old design. If we're going to build new, more heavy cruisers, I'm going to build a new design. And that leaves the Taizais and the Nagatos and the Yamatos to do. So, let's do Nagato first. Okay, no new guns for her. But we can get her up to oil. Uh, Shaft 5. I'm not going to put the... Well, actually... Could we put diesels in her? We could. What about the natural diesels? Kind of works. Okay. Uh, I mean, diesels are expensive, but... They give you such good range... Uh, it is quite unreal. Oh, crew 4 to modern. Very nice. This is the enhanced torpedo protection. Uh, they already had 2 pan 2, so that's not a huge upgrade, but autoloaders will be. As will the Gen 3 radar. And because it's diesel, we can probably up the range. Yeah, we can. To medium. And suddenly, these things are a lot more capable. Interesting. Maybe I should have done that for the uh, the other two. Oh well, they'll they'll get another refit soon enough when I'm doing the guns. Um, I'll justify it like that. 
they can get an engine swap when uh, when we swap the guns. Now that we've shown in the proof of concept of the Nagato refit that we can indeed swap out for diesel engines. Bum, 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 ba -da. Negative, let me to refit. Good, good, good. Uh, again, we're not going to be building any more of those. Uh, which leaves the Taizai. Now, this is already a proof in a really effective ship. So, I doubt we're going to be able to push the design much but let's have a look what about diesel engines yes forty-six thousand kilometer range don't mind if i do <laughs> get the modern armor in we need to can increase that torpedo protection get the better shell propellant Already had the Auto 2 and the Gen 3 radar. So we're done. It just gets better to, better torpedo avoidance and protection. And way more range. And of course diesels as well over a geared steam turbine give you much less chance that your engines get damaged. And it's just in general pretty, pretty nice to have. Yeah. Very, very nice. Okay. Maximum bulk is in 45,000 kilometer range. That is... That is very bonkers. Again, I'm probably not going to be building any, any new... Any ships with existing designs. I'll probably stick with the ones I've got because I'm really pushing the budget as it is and if I do build something else in this particular campaign it's going to be an even bigger battleship so delete the original design of the Tai Zai's and you can see the price does has jumped by using the diesels but I think it is worth it right because we've got four of these things right refit them and then lastly we have the Yamatos I wonder if they are still price competitive or doable with diesel engines because that that would be interesting if these things could be running a diesel anyway um let's great upgrade them to oil first of all they were already on a forced boiler so i'm going to see on a natural diesel boiler oh they do oh they do on 100 percent engine efficiency god damn right chuff five uh, Krip to modern armor. They already had the anti torpedo 5. Tube powder to tube powder 2. Now, these things have standard shells, which have been doing very well. And that's because of the muzzle velocity issue. If I go to super heavy, it severely. Well, actually, it's not as bad as I thought. Maybe just get them some super heavy shells. Do you know what? That's going to wait for um, a gun upgrade. Maybe with Mark IVs. I'll get away with super heavy shells. But for now, I think standard shells is fine. And that's 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 kind of it. <laughs> that's it. That's 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 all we're doing. Can I just upgrade her bulkheads? <sighs> Doesn't quite fit to maximum, but... We can get we can get many bulkheads in. That's a little bit nicer. Give them a little bit more heft. Look at that cost. <laughs> Absolutely ballooning. But uh, screw it. Worth it. That's generally why I don't go with diesels. They are they're expensive to maintain and expensive to build, especially on big battleships like this. But screw it. We're poor anyway we might as well have ludicrous <laughs> ludicrous ships that can uh, trigger missions miles away right 
Let's get them refitted. I mean, they're already 370 million, so what's it? What is it really jumping here? Uh, just under 100 million for that. Okay, that's probably a little bit much, but never mind. So just the Taihos, the Hamakazis, and the Shinobis to refit. Once all of the refitting is done, and I have to remember that Hiei and Ashigara will also need refits once they are finished repairing. And that's not even that expensive to do. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, you know what, let's see if the turn is actually going to go through at a reasonable speed. That's all the update. For my ships, I'm going to get a mission. I might get a mission. Ah, it's going to take ages. Right, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where apparently we'll have a convoy battle and some more refitting to do. Bye for now.